For the latest top tips, reviews and advice, please subscribe below. Hello and welcome to At Walls Outdoors with me, Mike. Telling you guys a bit of a review video on a brand new product from Dometic. So here with me today, I've got the Dometic Air Shield uh, FTA windbreak. So it's basically an inflatable windbreak, very quick and easy to pitch. Um, it's a little bit different in terms of its concept to probably what we've seen previously and from other windbreaks in the market. It's almost a little bit of a hybrid. So it's got a single inflation point, so it makes it very quick and easy to pitch. And you can see that from our own kind of at walls pitching videos. I think I did this model on my own in less than about two minutes. Um, so again, makes it very simple to do. Overall, it's about 140 tall and it's five meters tall in length. The thing that makes this a little bit different is the fact that actually, even though you've got kind of upright beams, there's a bottom beam that sort of connects them all together, hence that kind of one point inflation. And the joys of that as well is actually you get a bit more stability by having them linked at the bottom. Plus, I think certainly from a, a dog point of view, it means that you're not going to get a dog kind of burrowing underneath. And that's sort of one of the bigger bonuses. These oversized beams and the kind of the fabric is designed really to match kind of the Dometic range of tents. Um, so you've got this beautiful kind of green fabric. It's about 150D for a 6,000 mil hydrogen head. So it's kind of nice and waterproof as well. But, but you've almost got this little bit of a pre-shape. There's a little bit of flex in that pre-shape. So you don't have to have it sort of, the five meter refers to kind of the entire length. So not necessarily, you know, the span in between, but you've got a little bit of place. So you can kind of create a bit more shaping. Having that sort of preset bottom means that actually from an internal support wise, it's a lot more rigid. So even going against kind of the guy that's there, you've got a little bit of play. There are secondary kind of webbing straps located on there. So it's two per beam. So you can get bracing from either side um, just to get a bit more stability where you want to. Ideally, if you're facing the wind that way, you know, with a pre kind of function kind of things, you're not going to need it so much on the inside if the wind's coming this way, it's when it's whether it turns. But really you want to kind of guide all the points just to make sure anyway. There seems uh, zips located behind it as well. So it means that if you did, God forbid, have an issue, you can easily unzip it, repatch, replace it, or repair, replace the whole actual beam itself as well. So you've got a bit more longevity in there as well. But let's pick the camera up and have a bit more of a kind of feel from it. One thing to mention as well, actually, is the inflatable pump is not included with the actual uh, windbreak itself. It's got, kind of going on the kind of the assumption that because you've got an inflatable uh, tent, you'll have a pump ready to go with it. So a normal kind of uh, downdraft pump or something with a Boston valve tends to be more than adequate. But three panels, really quite smart. Like I said, the wearing straps have a little kind of reflective uh, tint into them, same as the kind of tents itself. But you can see it kind of sits nicely there. The two end ones I'd recommend kind of splaying out like I have here, just to kind of give it tension away from one another. And then you've got two inflation points located at either end. So lows behind here. So you've got your inflation point and then obviously you turn that round to give you a deflation point as well. So it makes it very sort of easy to pack away as again seen from our kind of pitching and packing video. But it's kind of pre-shaped works really nicely. A little window panel as well to get a bit of visibility into, but you've got your privacy obviously down a bit low. And there's that beam you can see along the bottom to really give you that sort of barrier for getting anything out. Bag is really quite small and compact as well. Comes included with um, kind of some webbing strap um, tidies just to make sure it all sits quite nice and neatly uh, but overall I think it's a nice addition something like I said a little bit different in comparison to what we've seen uh, else on the market so in that bottom beam you've got little poppers even located on the kind of the cover just make sure as when you've pitched it it sort of sits there nice and neatly and again even on kind of the bottom points of the pegging points down here you can see kind of you've got that reflective kind of points that match the guy points and the webbing straps you've got an adjustable buckle as well so you can kind of play with that and remove them if you wanted to just for storage purposes same with getting kind of all done but overall I think it's a nice little thing a good little addition kind of to Dometic's range something that sort of again suits nicely in with their tents and it just is that kind of next level I can certainly see for me if you had something like the um, Rarotonga or the Borake with that kind of open front this would really be a nice sort of accessory to put in the front of that just give you that extra bit of space uh, without having to go to the lines of the vestibule um, but it gives you a bit more shelter at the same time so but for more information about this particular product you can check the link below this video it'll take you straight through to our website where we've got more information about uh, the pack sizes pack weights uh, overall dimensions 
uh, as well as the other video about us pitching and putting it away. I'll choose over there, over there. So yeah, I think overall, nice little thing. And if you want any more information about it, always let us know. Uh, we'll comment in the box below if you have any queries or questions about it, or if you've got one, or feedback, we always love to hear from you guys as well. But that is kind of the new Dometic Airscreen FTA uh, for the 2020 season going forward.